I came to set today and I heard something very disturbing about the police force and I thought I should put it out there. My name is Valinda I found an actress. And um, as an actor, it's not just about me, but about the people that we get to work with also. So um, the crew members told me that um, they got harassed by some police officer who actually released seven bullets at them randomly. And it could have cost their life while well, we will not be here shooting today. Um, we have videos to back this up, so we're not just making up stories. They were eating, they're sitting down eating in the night. And this um, trigger hungry policeman who was dead drunk after t consuming one bottle of vodka Jesus. just came and started harassing them for no reason. Even when the manager of the hotel where they are lodged, you know, tried to talk to him. He wasn't listening. He brought out two guns and said when he finished the bullet from one gun, he was going to kill them with the other ones. Please, I want to know what sort of recklessness that was. What sort of... I don't, I don't, I don't really understand what goes on with the police. Yeah, but I don't think everyone should be a police officer who is in charge of people's lives out there. You understand? What sort of man gets drunk and starts shooting randomly at people? Innocent people sitting down. What if we had lost someone on set? What are we going to say to their parents? Why would you start shooting guns at people? This is really disgusting. Please, we want the police force to look into this matter and take the gun away from that reckless, drunk policeman. On that note, um, they were taken to the police station because they um, accused them of being thieves. And when they got to the police station and they were able to rec um, identify themselves, the policemen in the police station pleaded with them they should not report that police officer and they refused to disclose his identity. And that was Ogombo police station. It's very sad that police officers would, you know, try to, you know, cover up, cover up their own colleague that is actually doing something wrong. Yes. He's using his office. And they say, please, if we should not record it, we should not post any video. This is very sad. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, you know, granting this video because it could have been me. Yes. It could have been you. Show the sound man that this man shot at directly. Show the sound man. Show the sound man that shot at. What if something had happened? So please, Nigerians, this is the kind of man that will go out there and shoot someone and kill someone. Imagine he was bragging. That is what they actually tried to do because these people here, yeah, they couldn't sleep 3 a.m. They took some people out, huh. told the guys to be naked, and yes. started shooting guns. Harassed them, molested them. They collected their phones and their money. They yes. collected their phones and their so, money. So we're not really we're sure if it's arm robbery or what we're We don't even know what it is. We're all out by 2 a.m. in the morning, and it's coffee time. We're all risking our life. Even those that were not directly there, we're risking our life trying to see, understand what was happening. We, were sitting we went to Adja. I would say we went to Adja police station. They told us that it's not their jurisdiction, that we have to go to another police station, yeah. Gumbo police station. That was 2 a.m. in the morning. What's yeah. the police officer's name? Ali. Ali, I don't know. Who is Ali that works for the picture? We have there's a picture of that guy that we have. Yes, we have video evidence, we have extra evidence. His colleagues refused to reveal his identity, and that is so sad and is wrong on all ramifications. Please, Nigerians, let us not be quiet about this at all. We should not speak up because tomorrow is stand and I say no to police brutality. Say no to police brutality. This is evil. Say no to police brutality. Say no to police brutality. And right now, say no to police brutality. Uh, say no to police brutality. Say no to police brutality.